Hey guys, welcome back to the build of the F15. Uh, you can see this is the form I use. You can get it at Lowe's. It's 2x4. Uh, it's called DOW, D O W. You can find it on the insulation department. The sandpaper I use is basically a packet of three, sand, three different sizes 100, 150, and 120. I do with the 100, I do all the, the nose and canopy. You know, everything they have to listen a lot, and then I go with the 220 over the whole fuselage and everything just for the finishing details. Um, the paint I use, the, the paint I use for most of my airplanes is this one right here. It's called the Sign Master. Uh, you can get this one at uh, Hobby Lobby uh, uh, and at uh, Michael's too. And this one is the one I use for the F15 because this brand doesn't have the color I needed. Both of these paint, paints are acid free. So they won't mess up your paint. You can also use a paint called H2O. That one is acid free too and it will be very good for your foamy airplanes. I use this metal right here for push rods. As you see right here, you can get them at Hobby Lobby too, 89 cents for four of them. The size I use is 5497, 5497. Okay, now the glue I use. Is this glue right here? As you can see it, you can get it at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, basically any place that sells a stuff to build clothes. It's a fabric glue, basically. You see the name right there, Fabric Tech, and it's a very nice glue too. Uh, I recommend you to go back to the to the build, you know, to the first video, and just follow all the videos of the construction of the F-15. If you haven't watched this yet, so you can see how I use everything that I'm showing you right now, and um, also wood. Uh, I use a piece of wood this right here uh, to add a string into my wings. You see my wings right here. I have a piece of wood going all the way across to add a string on it. Uh, most of the guys out there use carbon fiber on their wings uh, but uh, I use wood. This wood is called bass. B-A-S. It's not balsa so don't put balsa in there because it's going to be too too flimsy. Uh, you can get this one at Hobby Lobby too. Basswood BAS is the name. It's about I think about 99 cents or something like that for this. And um, okay, uh, the electronics I use on this thing. Uh, I'm using a micro jet engine. You can get it at Grayson Hobbies. It's a micro jet with a 20 amp speed control. It's about $35. They recommend you to use a 6x4 propeller in it. I'm actually using a 6x5 on it. Uh, but and it works very nice. It having overheat the engine or the speed control, so I'm very happy about it with a six by uh, six by five pro. Uh, my servos, uh, the ones I'm using, I got them uh, off eBay. You can actually get them from uh, from Grayson Hobbies too. Uh, they are about five dollars each one, but I got these ones off eBay for one dollar and fifty cents. The battery I'm using is a twenty two hundred milliamp twenty C three cell battery. You can get a battery like this at any local hobby store or you can buy it off a uh, online store too. But what I recommend you to do if you don't have one is to get them off eBay. Why? Because a battery this size it will be about 50 or 60 dollars off a, on a hobby shop or a website. And off eBay I got two of these batteries for only 35 dollars. So I basically pay half of the price of one for two. And they are very nice and approved for these things being very powerful. This is my F18. I was running this one. The F15 comes with a 300, I mean a 1300 milliamp battery. But I was running at, 20, at this 2200 and it was too much for the EDF I guess and I overheat it. So I messed up the EDF on that one. Anyway my friends, uh, if I forget so to mention something, just let me know there on the comment bar and I will answer your question over there. And um, what I'm going to be doing next, I'm going to be adding the missiles on here uh, on the wings and I'm also going to have to add the fuel tank on the bottom to protect all my missiles from being messed up on landing. So that's going to be very fun too and it's going to be a nice looking plane on the air. So okay my friends, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet so you can see the next coming videos and I have a very exciting project coming soon. F15, 20 amp speed control. Microjet engine, T cell battery, 2200 milliamps.
a slow flyby. High speed. It really handles very well to be a microjet, like I said before. And I'm gonna see how low I can bring it. I'm gonna bring it low this time. I'm gonna go far back, come back around. again it's a nice F15 guys and like I said that little engine was it have enough power to fly this little this airplane right here I'm gonna, I'm flying crosswind, the wing is coming from my back, so I'm gonna see if I can turn around. I just don't like to fly like that because it's basically into the trees. So I'm gonna, that is with the wind right there. You see the trees over there too, so that's why I don't like to fly like that. I'm gonna do a loop over here. Ah, I couldn't. I'm gonna try it crosswind, I guess. Up, Let's come down. Nice loop. The wing is too strong to fly cross wing. A roll. See if we can do some high alpha, but now I can't. I don't like it I'm doing a crosswing. Yeah, Fifteen guys. Okay, we're gonna land this. Well, one more time. <laughs> okay, let's land this guy and we're gonna get the, the MiG-29 now. And <laughs> the wing is very strong. There you go. You got a nice brother.